United States citizens may be eligible for an additional $1,400 payment on top of their tax return in 2020 if they are either the parent of a child born in 2021 or have a new dependent. All of these new economic measures are a part of the new American Rescue Plan, which includes a $1,400 payout to adults and their dependent children. The majority of people have already received their entire reward. However, those who had qualified children in 2022 can claim the recovery rebate credit on their next tax return. Economic impact payments, sometimes known as a stimulus check, were distributed in 2021 as early payments of the recovery rebate credit. If you did not receive the whole amount you expected by December 31st, you can claim the difference when you do your taxes in 2022. Because of the 2021 economic impact payments were computed using a person's 2020 or 2019 tax return, any qualified dependents who joined the family in 2021 would not have been included in the computation or payment. Who qualifies for the recovery rebate credit? If you qualify for the recovery rebate credit, you can claim the child on your 2021 tax return, which is due in 2022. Those who qualify for an additional payment through the American Rescue Plan will have the credit applied to their 2021 tax refund. To qualify, you must have dependents under the age of 19 at the conclusion of the year unless they are students or of any age but permanently incapacitated. Furthermore, the dependent must be a child, brother, sister, foster child, stepbrother, stepsister, half-brother or half-sister, or descendant of any of those. However, there are some income limitations that must be satisfied in order to get the recovery rebate credit paid, as taxpayers can receive the entire amount if their adjusted gross income is less than $75,000 or $150,000 if they are married. In today's video, we're going to talk about the fourth stimulus check. I'm going to tell you how much the fourth stimulus check is, who qualifies, and the latest stimulus check updates according to what state you live in. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and watch this video to the end. How will states handle the recovery rebate credit? Every state will get a federal budget to administer the recovery rebate credit, but it will be entirely up to the administration of each state to decide how to spend these dollars and which particular benefits will be included in this plan. The United States federal government issued stimulus checks in 2020 and 2021 to assist low and middle income families in dealing with the worldwide illness, but it's now up to the state governments to give financial assistance to their residents. Some of these states are providing a fourth stimulus check to residents, while others are providing alternative financial aid through a variety of incentives. Tax incentives, extended benefits programs, increased unemployment benefits, the child and dependent care tax credit, and other inventive initiatives in specific states supplement the financial assistance offered by the United States. A thorough reference to all of the aid available to each of the 50 states in the United States will make your life a little easier as you'll be able to immediately identify where stimulus checks are being prepared and how much money is being distributed. We'll also explain how to qualify for and apply for the benefit. A number of states have already distributed fourth stimulus payments, while others are planning to enact new legislation to assist Americans this December. As the year 2021 draws to a close, each state is already making arrangements for future financial assistance. From coast to coast and sea to shining sea, here are the detailed state-by-state -state breakdown of the stimulus checks and payments made available to citizens. Alabama Stimulus Package In Alabama, the chances of receiving another stimulus check are slim. The state government started the All Together campaign, but it isn't giving significant illness relief to citizens or businesses. Alabama state government updates are scanned, with the most recent news coming from the state that Governor Kay Ivey has signed into law a slew of bills that would clear the way for the state to begin building new prisons with Alaska stimulus package. Alaska Governor Mike Dunleavy wants to transfer the extra cash received to the state in November from higher oil production to people's pockets, claiming that it's an absolutely within our capacity to help residents manage their costs with supplemental PFD of $1,236. PFD is an abbreviation for Permanent Fund Dividend, and the state administration is lobbying for it in order to assist families. The administration is also looking into ways to assist residents with their winter heating expenses. Arizona Stimulus This bad news in Arizona, as there is little sign of the state delivering a new type of financial aid amidst the with Governor Doug Ducey planning to utilize federal funds to encourage individuals to find jobs rather than to pay people who the state's back-to-work program provides a one-time $1,000 payment to unemployed individuals who accept part-time work and a $2,000 payment to any unemployed individual who accepts a full-time position. Arkansas stimulus. Arkansas has even gone to court against its own inhabitants, 
after terminating federal unemployment benefits worth $300 per week early. Arkansas is one of the 26 states that discontinued this support early, indicating that it isn't the state eager to donate our money to it. However, Arkansas has a Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP Initiative, which assists low-income families and per Golden State Stimulus 2, the California Stimulus. So far, California has been the most beneficial to its inhabitants, introducing the Golden State Stimulus in two parts, Golden State Stimulus 1 and Golden State Stimulus 2. Golden State Stimulus 2 checks were worth between $600 and $1,100 and were supposed to arrive by October 31st. However, some people who filed their taxes late or were supposed to receive paper checks may instead receive their new stimulus check in December. Colorado Stimulus Plan Colorado continues to offer a variety of services to financial aid. Despite the arrival of vaccines, the worldwide illness and its economic effects continue to harm Colorado, and we understand that Coloradans still require human services, the state government stated. People can apply for financial assistance, TANF, child care aid, job assistance, energy assistance, food assistance through the state government's website, Connecticut Stimulus Package. Connecticut's Back to Work program provided $1,000 payout to eligible applicants who returned to work following an eight-week unemployment period. Governor Ned Lamont declared in September 2021, and it's still in effect in December 20. Delaware Stimulus Plan Delawareans will not receive stimulus checks in December, but the state has spent $50 million in federal stimulus on job training for unemployed people and students believing that getting people back to work is the best economic Florida stimulus pack. A fourth stimulus check of $1,000 was distributed in Florida. However, it was only applicable to select employees such as teachers and first responders. These one-time rewards were made to workers in Florida as a way of saying thank you to the individuals who stepped up during the outbreak. Georgia stimulus pack. Georgia is yet another state that has prioritized education. The proposal was for full-time teachers and administrators to get $1,000 and part-time instructors to receive $500. Pre-K educators were also supposed to get Hawaii stimulus pack. In Hawaii, lawmakers proposed giving teachers $2,200, but Governor David Ige vetoed it, claiming that lawmakers lacked the authority to instruct the Department of Education on how to spend federal funds. However, Ige has searched for alternative ways to assist Hawaii citizens and his island's administration will use federal monies to cover some of the day-to-day -day costs for Hawaiians, such as education. Idaho Stimulus Package Taxpayers in Idaho received a one-time tax refund of $50. However, this was a one-time payment that residents who had anticipated a greater payment have since forgotten. Idaho was also one of the first states to opt out of federal unemployment benefits, so things have been difficult. Illinois Stimulus Package there were never any plans in Illinois for a state-level stimulus pack. However, the state has been generous with a number of additional benefits, including unemployment compensation, a child tax credit, and earned income tax credit. Indiana Stimulus Pack Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb terminated unemployment benefits on June 19th. That was significantly ahead of the September 6th deadline stipulated by the American Rescue Plan. Job seekers in Indiana filed a lawsuit against the state, and a court struggle ensued. After much back and forth, Indiana reluctantly continued to pay federal unemployment benefits to individuals who are qualified until the federal termination date. However, if it can be avoided, this is not a state that will provide much financial Iowa stimulus. There were no plans in Iowa from the start for a fourth stimulus check to be distributed at the state level. This was also one of the first states to withdraw from federal unemployment Kansas stimulus package. According to Internal Revenue Service documents, Kansas either refused, paid back, or failed to cash approximately $17 million in stimulus funds, 12,921 checks. However, there is no fresh information on whether Kansas will give more stimulus checks at this time. Kentucky Stimulus Pack A surge in unemployment in Kentucky prompted vague talk of a fresh wave of stimulus payments, but there's already good news in the state as a result of a 5.9% cost of living, the greatest boost since 1982. With 1,009,092 Kentucky people receiving Social Security payments as the most recent data, many Kentucky individuals would gain Louisiana stimulus packet. Louisiana has been hit not only by the worldwide illness, but also by Hurricane Ida. As a result, and those in Louisiana are receiving cash assistance. The Red Cross has sought to get emergency financial aid for families whose homes were severely damaged by Hurricane Ida, and survivors may be entitled to a one-time payment of $500 per household from the government, as well as temporary Maine stimulus. Maine is one of the states that does not intend to receive another round of stimulus funding before the end of Maryland stimulus. Maryland is one of the more generous states in terms of illness relief payments, levying no state taxes or local tax unemployment benefits. 
The state also provided a stimulus check ranging $300 to $500 to people who applied for the Earned Income Tax Credit. In addition, $700 million were set aside for farm workers and meat packers. Massachusetts Stimulus it appears that Massachusetts will not receive another stimulus as much of the illness relief money has gone toward areas such as housing and Michigan stimulus. The state of Michigan sent $500 hazard pay incentives to their teachers in an effort to improve the locals' economic status. However, there was some controversy because lawmakers used illness relief funds to give themselves these hazard pay incentives, which they subsequently had to repay. Minnesota stimulus. It was recently stated in Minnesota that the state did not lose any tax money as a result of the illness outbreak. This means that there is a large surplus and the state legislators are deciding on how to spend. Some are advocating for infrastructure investment while Minnesotans are hoping for another stimulus pack. Mississippi stimulus pack. Mississippi was one of the first states where unemployment benefit stimulus payments were terminated early and there are presently no plans to pay any additional stimulus checks. The current debate is on how to spend the $1.8 billion from the American Rescue Plan. Missouri Stimulus Plan In comparison to other states, Missouri residents have received less financial assistance. This was also one of the first states to discontinue federal unemployment payment. Montana Stimulus Plan Montana officials decided early on not to offer more stimulus checks, instead directing illness cash to local infrastructure projects, including 86 water and sewer projects across the state. Nebraska stimulus. Nebraska's unemployment rate in November 2021 was under 2.2%. This is the lowest of any state, thus there is less pressure on state legislators to issue an additional st Nevada stimulus payment. Nevada has gotten a large amount of federal funding, but this is not a fourth stimulus payment. However, the child tax credit provides between $3,000 and $3,600 per child to practically all working families in Nevada. Half of the credit will be distributed in monthly installments beginning in July and continuing through December 20 with the remaining half distributed through 2020. The state of Nevada is doing quite well in terms of responding to the worldwide illness, with the state's gambling industry bringing in approximately a billion dollars per month. However, they recognize that once stimulus funds are no longer available, this may drop. New Hampshire Stimulus In New Hampshire, an American family of three with no income receives a grant of $1,086. This is the primary source of financial assistance at this time. New Jersey Stimulus Although a fourth stimulus package is not expected in New Jersey, residents may be eligible for a $500 tax. New Mexico Stimulus Package In New Mexico, stimulus check payments were due before the end of November since the state was delivering stimulus checks to over 4,000 low-income citizens. They could receive up to $750 in financial assistance. People could still apply up to October, but that time is now New York Stimulus New York has adopted some novel measures to assist residents through its difficult period. Governor Kathy Hochul for example, has increased the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance SNAP payment beginning in October. In New York, there's also a $2.1 billion fund for undocumented workers who are unable to get federal. In addition, beginning in November, the state would distribute $100 million to people in tourism-related jobs that have been eliminated. North Carolina Stimulus Pack There's presently no fresh information regarding stimulus payments and other sorts of financial aid coming out of North Dakota Stimulus Pack. The United States Department of Education approved North Dakota's use of American Rescue Plan monies to help K-12 schools and students in August 2021, with $101 million granted to the state in this area. Some reimbursements, however, took time to arrive, and some people who are qualified are still waiting. Ohio Stimulus There are no plans in Ohio for a fourth stimulus check, but the state has organized a variety of alternative programs to assist individuals, which may be seen on the state's website. Oklahoma Stimulus Oklahoma's strategy was to try to reduce the unemployment, thus the state paid a one-time payment of $1,200 to those who got off unemployment benefit. Oregon Stimulus There have been no fresh updates on illness-related relief payments for Oregon citizens since August. Pennsylvania Stimulus Pennsylvania has not offered new stimulus money to its residents. Given that the state apparently has $7 billion in unspent federal monies, this is generating some consternation. Rhode Island Stimulus Workers in Rhode Island were hoping for a $4,400 stimulus pay for Social Security recipients. Despite online initiatives, it has not been re South Carolina stimulus pay. South Carolina received $8.8 .8 billion in funding from Joe Biden's America. A large portion of that money will go toward education, but some illness relief funds have yet to be distributed. We have a lot of money that we can spend, and we're in terrific position to make some major revolutionary steps, Governor McMaster said. 
South Dakota stimulus. South Dakota was the only state that refused to accept federal money funded $300 weekly unemployment benefit, known as the Lost Wages Assistance, which has been of up to six weeks beginning in August. Tennessee stimulus pay. A new round of payments has been made in Tennessee, but only to a subset of the workforce. The Tennessee state legislator passed legislation to provide teachers with hazard pay in order to demonstrate appreciation for the efforts throughout the world. Full-time teachers will receive $1,000 while part-time instructors will receive 500. These checks are expected to arrive by the end of 2020, so if they haven't already, they should appear in December. Texas stimulus pay. Nothing has been verified at the state level, but some school districts are raising teachers' salaries. For example, Fort Worth and Arlington will increase district employee salaries by 4%. Denton and Mansfield will increase salary by 2%, and Denton employees will also receive a $500 Utah stimulus pay. Utah households earned the most valuable stimulus checks in the third batch of payments, with the average check being worth $2,784. It was announced. This combined with the fact that the state had the second lowest unemployment rate in November 2021 of 2.9% implies that no additional stimulus payments are expected. Vermont stimulus. It may not be a typical stimulus check, but there's money to be made in for individuals who relocate to the state. The new worker relocation would reimburse up to $7,500 to those who relocated to the state after July. And this money will also be accessible for those who relocate to this as remote employees by February 20th, 2022. Virginia stimulus package. There are no plans for new stimulus check at the state level, but one small town in Virginia is planning to offer its inhabitants more Washington stimulus. Despite appeals in Washington for a fourth round of checks, the state has cooled on the ice. West Virginia stimulus. There were thousands of unclaimed stimulus checks in West Virginia. The state administration encouraged people to check their eligibility, which is still feasible. In other news, the state government is focusing on providing emergency housing vouchers to those in desperate need. Wisconsin stimulus. Wisconsin implemented the Wisconsin Emergency Rental Assistance Wearer Program in 2021, and the state has also has an emergency assistance program that might provide a one-time payment to those in need family. Last but not least, the Wyoming stimulus. Governor Gordon has focused on the state's economic recovery on reviving key businesses in the local economy. Wyoming received $1.5 billion from the American Rescue Plan, the majority of which went toward tax relief for businesses, a boost for the oil and gas industry, and revitalizing the state's tourism. However, there are no plans to use any of the state's federal funds for another batch of stimulus checks at this time. If you enjoyed this video, then check out these videos on your screen that I selected just for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.